upgrade homestead. It's our nice little bench we put out here. We had this in the garden, and then uh, Stacy and I were talking about it. We didn't really like this little area we had going on right here, as far as the landscaping stuff of it goes. And so we kind of pulled it all up. We brought the bench out here, and this might be a new spot where we can sit and talk to you guys right in front of the log cabin, okay? But today what we're gonna talk about is security on the homestead. Now some of you guys, if you've been here for a while, you might have remembered the video that I did when we had a stranger just came onto our property and actually opened up one of our doors and tried to just walk right in our building. So if you guys wanna see that video, I'll leave a link down to it underneath this video. So that really got me thinking about our security. We've been out here for a decade and we haven't had any problems whatsoever. So when you guys think about security, think about putting as many obstacles in front of the intruder as you can. Like a lot of people plant thorny bushes underneath windows. So those are access points, ways somebody can break into your house. So if you uh, put some rose bushes with thorns on them underneath there, that's a good deterrent. There's other things that you can do just kind of naturally that will just repel people from coming onto your place. And the more obstacles you can put in front of them, then the more likely they are to skip yours and go on to the next one where it's easier. The crooks always like to go for easy. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what we put in place for our first line of defense. So like I said, everything that you can put in front of the intruder deters them and you have your first line of defense. And I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on. Okay. So obviously your first line of defense is a fence. So we have a perimeter fence all the way around our property. The problem that we had was the gate that we had up at the front here was uh, two 10 footers. And we usually leave them open just because it's a hassle. You gotta get out, you gotta open the gates, close the gates. We were doing that, you know, then you get lazy. You guys know how it is. It's raining one day, you know, just all these things. Uh, so what happened was the gates were open and the intruder just drove on down to the house, okay? <laughs> Now another consideration that we have is that we're off the grid, so we don't have any power, you know, it's hard to run uh, power gates and all this stuff. And what I found was there actually is a way that I could run a power gate off of some solar power right up here in the front. You hear that? So I got a 16 foot gate. This is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> And now, every time we come in, one minute later, the gate will shut and lock. That is some good security. So now, I have a proper first line of defense, right? Anybody who comes here to the property now, as soon as they hit our driveway, they're gonna get stopped. And if they don't know us, which that guy didn't know us, <laughs> If they don't know us, then they're going to back up and leave, okay? No one's just going to drive in here automatically because they see that the gate is closed. So that's your first line of defense. And again, I've talked about the perimeter fencing, and now we're going to talk about some of the universal signs that mean no trespassing and private property. If you actually get a purple paint, it's a universal code in North America and the United States, you get purple paint and you put it on your posts, you put it on your trees, around your fence lines, and then that signals to everyone there's no hunting, private property, stay out. Of course, you can always put your signs up, your placards, private property, stay out right and as long as all that stuff posted if people come onto your property you have certain rights that you can exercise okay but if those signs and placards and paint if that stuff's not on there it just makes it a little bit harder okay to defend yourself if you had to go to court or something uh, something like this too i say hey man my gate was closed the guy climbed over it or drove through it or whatever he did and he came down to the house and i had to defend myself that's my first line of defense now you guys saw in the beginning of the video, I put this keypad up because sometimes we get visitors and so we put a keypad in and also Stacy likes to walk the dog. So when she comes back, she can just put her coat in. It's all kind of a slick setup. Um, we're not sponsored, this is a sponsor video. I'm not even gonna tell you who it's from. There's a couple of companies out there. One's better than the other and you guys gotta do your own homework. <laughs> But I'm pretty happy with the installation. It was pretty easy. The batteries all charge off of solar power. I'm gonna show you guys real quick this whole little setup. Uh, look here, it's just so easy. The keypad runs off of some batteries. So you have to uh, you know, replace those every once in a while. They're C-size too, so they're a little odd. 
I don't know why they went with the C size. Opens real smooth. I like that. I like the one solid gate, and I like the fact that we don't have to get in and out of the truck every single time we come in to fasten the gate. Okay, we're not lazy, but it just becomes a pain. That's nice. That's some good security right there. Come on. It only takes, you can set this open time as long as you want up to one minute. I went the whole one minute just because it gives you time to come through. A lot of times I'll have a trailer on the back of my truck. So that works out good for me. It's just very smooth operations, right? And the nice thing about it is there's two little batteries over here. It's all being charged by the solar power. As you can see, there's lots of sun today. There's the lock. It's a very nice system, okay? So if you guys are looking for some security on your place, especially off-grid, you might want to look into an automatic gate opener, okay? That's why I wanted to bring this to your attention. A lot of you guys were talking to me about the security here on the homestead. I'd already been thinking about it, been doing some investigations, and when that happened here, uh, that really just sealed the deal. So I knew I was gonna get into it, so. Now you guys can see what's going on. I had to put some six by six posts here. And I just extended the fence out to close the gap a little bit because that was a 20 foot gate and now it's a 16. 16 is plenty. And then I just put some cross bracing on there and it worked out great. Now when you guys are living out in the rural areas like we do, um, if you put a gate up like this, obviously you're not going to be able to get your Amazon orders. So you're going to need to build yourself a receptacle out there that your UPS or FedEx guy or whatever, he can get in there and drop your packages off for you and you can walk up here and get them for yourself because you really don't want to give anybody the code to your gate. Ha! All right. It's about time to actually have our liner too. So Stacy's hard to work out there in the outdoor kitchen. Uh, getting us some grub whipped up. And she wanted to know if you guys wanted a tour of the outdoor kitchens. A lot of new subscribers, a lot of people hanging out that have never been here before. You might not even understand that we have an outdoor kitchen because you know we live in this log cabin, no electricity, no air conditioning, and we can't run this wood cook stove all summer. So we built an outdoor kitchen and we just spent like a day and a half rearranging it. And Stacy was like, well, maybe we could do a video about the outdoor kitchen. So you guys leave a comment down below if you want to see the redesigned outdoor kitchen. And she'll give you the whole breakdown. We got some cool appliances out there that work off grid. And this stuff kind of gives you guys a lot of good ideas so you can break free from the man. And you guys can live out here and you know grow your own food and be in the sun and getting dirty and working hard. I love that stuff. Growing our own food is a huge benefit uh, to the lifestyle that we chose. So leave your comment down below if you guys want to see the um, outdoor kitchen redo. Point 2.0 they call it. <laughs> Otherwise, I hope you guys got some tips off of our video today about security on the homestead off grid. Um, because like I said, we don't have power around here. So running power to all the gates and all the stuff turned into a big hassle. And luckily, this is the cool thing. Technology is finally catching up so we can live a more independent lifestyle, right? With a little creature comforts, right? That gate is like a creature comfort. Otherwise, we could just get out and lock it with a chain and pull the two doors together, you know what I mean? So it's just a creature comfort, but it really helps a lot, okay? So leave your comment down below if you wanna see that. Let me know if you like the security on the video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.